What's going on guys, Play by Play Gamer here, back with another Epic 7 video, and today we're going over the update for June 3rd, so let's take a look at what we have today. We have the 5 star, brand new hero, Ilanov, dropping with this update. She is a fire 5 star knight, and uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting for her to come out. She's finally here, and of course, right before we get any kind of collab news. Uh, we talked about her kit. Her kit looks really interesting. She looks like a lot of fun. Uh, to sum it up, like a Fire Charles is what she looks like. If you want to know my thoughts on her, uh, and I'll put the link there in either the description or it should be popping up for you. Go take a look at that video I talk about ML Kawazu and Ilana there and whether or not you should potentially be saving or whether you should go triple S, I guess. Uh, but we are getting her side story, the Insignia's new owner. And uh, I think this one should be interesting. It's gonna give us some background on her. Uh, she's been kind of like a fan favorite ever since they teased her art and stuff like that. So uh, interested to see how her and uh, CC are going to interact maybe in that story or the story behind that. But we'll be able to uh, farm highest difficulty uh, that you can, I believe. Or did they change this? Because it, it says held up can be played up to five times during the side story. Uh, as the difficulty progresses, the amount of energy needed will increase as well as the event currency. Players can choose their difficulty. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why it's only a certain amount of the hell entry. I think because they like reworked the side stories to where maybe the hard mode gives you the, the most now and then the hell is like bonus. I don't know, I guess we'll see, but uh, we are going to be able to farm uh, all that currency. Make sure you pick up those bookmarks. Even if you're not going to be pulling for her, it's still 15 coming in bookmarks that you can get there just from doing the side story. And we're going to be getting that gift of bravery. And so I believe this here, the gift of bravery, is going to be uh, to help us with the friendship farming. And I think this one's probably going to be for fire, right? It makes sense. Give it to your fire units. Increases their friendship. Uh, so you'll be able to farm that. Uh, get 10 of those. Uh, I think the last time that they gave us, so they gave us some lanterns last time. And I think if you use all 10, it'll take you up to like seven or eight friendship level. I think. I, I, I don't remember. It's been a while. And I used them all right away. So there's that. We're also getting an improvement uh, to the rewards of the side story, which is always really nice. Uh, so we're going to be having her drop right up and Mort. Uh, Mort for sure it's a pass uh, I pitied Mort and then I pulled Mort again on like a five star ticket and uh, he's still on the bench uh, he's been tried and uh, he is not good <laughs> even though you would think that because he's immune to stun and sleep that would make him really really strong he just I don't know there, there's something that needs to happen with his kit, some kind of change, but Ilanov, I don't know. I, it's gonna be a tough one whether or not uh, you should pull, but I'm gonna do some pulls on her banner. If I can get her without hitting pity, that's what I'm hoping for, so I can save as many bookmarks as I can. Uh, but it's just another night hero that you're gonna have to gear up for sure with at least counter gear, or if not counter, speed, max, uh, limit break, uh, uh elbrus ritual sword right so that's the artifact that she's gonna need so it's just one of those things that uh you have to kind of keep in mind if you plan on building her uh, along with that we're getting hoochie's pop-up shop uh, so hopefully you've been saving your sky stones because with his rotation starting on thursday so from thursday to thursday from the third i guess whenever our reset is all the way until the 10th uh, we are getting his shop in the regular um, Garo shop, so you'll be able to click on him. If you've never, uh, if you're brand new to the game, if you've never experienced Hooch's pop-up shop, they usually call it the scam shop, but I think it's one of the best ways that you can just buy straight up Mystic Metals. And I usually clear out the shop when it comes to Mystic Metals and Molagora. Everything else, I leave alone just because uh, of the cost of the sky stones. So here you can see we have mystic metals and you can buy them for 200 sky stones 
and you can get uh, up to four times of that uh, of that amount for the Mystic Metal. So you can buy these four times. And so uh, if you're curious, 200 Sky Stones is about what it takes uh, when you're doing Secret Shop refreshing to get Mystic Metals. And then even then, you're not guaranteed. You can go 200. 300 sky stones refreshing without any mystic metals uh, and it also costs gold so uh, i usually just go straight up for the mystic metals and the molagora uh, the molagora might be a skip now since it's only one and it's also not discounted it's 500 sky stones so i mean it is kind of pricey they're giving us a lot more molagora so maybe the molagora you don't necessarily need to pick up but mystic metals especially for new players uh, even though 200 sky stones is a bit, uh, it definitely is worth uh, when you're starting off. But I mean, now you get free ML5. So uh, right now there aren't any in the mystic rotation that I would say are must pull. So, hey, you could probably even just skip these two. Uh, but the thing about him is that he gets new things every 12 hours and sometimes they have like a discount, sometimes they don't. Uh, so I always pick up the leaves at least because sometimes there's leaves and you can buy those I think with sky stones. I uh, pick up leaves and mystic metals should they pop up. Everything else is a skip. Definitely not worth anything else unless like a Molagora pops up in there. Um, but I think that's pretty much it that I've seen in those uh, in those rotations. But that's going to be it for me. Let me know your thoughts on Ilanov. Will you be pulling for her? Is she waifu for you? Hey, or maybe you're going for more. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Like always, if you happen to enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.